U.S. Senator, a former Democratic presidential candidate. He's raising some eyebrows with some controversial remarks attributed to him about the Clinton campaign. Bill Bradley is now a strong supporter of Barack Obama, the former senator joining us now from New York. Senator, thanks for coming in. Pleasure to be with you. Uh, I saw the article of the Times of London, and there were a couple of quotes that sort of jumped out at me, and I wanted you to explain what you mean. Uh, here's one. The bigger the lie, the better the chance they think they've got. That's been their whole approach. You're, you're talking about the Clinton campaign. She's going to lose a whole generation of people who got involved in politics, believing it could be something different. Uh, all right, explain. Sure. Well, I think there are a number of places that they've totally misrepresented Barack's position whether it is on <clears throat> NAFTA, or whether it's on Iraq, or whether it's on credit card, or whether it's on abortion. And that is symptomatic of what I call the old politics. You just throw something against the wall and see what sticks. I mean, one day it's plagiarism, one day it's drugs, one day it's race. And if nothing sticks, you'll throw other things. And, and I think what Barack represents is something new. And I think a whole generation of Americans want a new kind of politics one that tells people the truth and puts country ahead of party. I know it's harsh, but are you saying that Hillary Clinton is a liar? No, I'm saying that uh, there have been conscious misrepresentations of positions. And uh, it's very clear in the areas, uh, and it's been fully reported. And it doesn't go remarked. So I thought I'd call it what it is. So you're, you're, you're and, and specifically, uh, give me one example of that's most egregious from your perspective, where they consciously misrepresented a position of Barack Obama. Well, they had a mailing in, I think, New Hampshire that essentially totally misrepresented his position on abortion. He was actually working with the pro-choice uh, forces of Illinois at the time, and of course they charged that he was not. And that's a perfect example. You also have this quote in the Times of London, and let me let you explain and clarify uh, in the story. It says that, uh, uh, quote, the Clintons do not do long-term planning. They're total tacticians, and right now their focus is on Obama, not McCain. Uh, it was uh, a, a, a citation saying you believe Clinton would stop at nothing to tear down Obama, even if it boosts John McCain in the process. Is, is that accurately reporting uh, your uh, thoughts? Well, uh, it's very clear that the other day she said John McCain was suited to be uh, the uh, president of the United States on national security, but a Barack Obama was not. Well, you know, she's not interested in helping McCain. She's interested in hurting uh, Senator Obama. And that's what that was all about. And of course, they got caught a little bit because on the one hand, one day they were saying he wasn't qualified to be commander in chief. The next day they were saying we should be consi considering him for vice president, which means he'd have to be qualified to be commander in chief. So it's imp important to uh, uh, draw attention to these inconsistencies. If she were to get the Democratic nomination, and that's a big if right now, but let's say she did, who would you support, her or John McCain? Oh, I would support the Democratic nominee. Even if it's Hillary Clinton, because you're... Of course. Because you, you don't seem to have a whole lot of confidence in her. Well, uh, you tell me what the choice is. The choice between Barack Obama and uh, Senator Clinton, I take Senator Obama. If the choice is between John McCain or Senator Clinton, I take Senator Clinton. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Do you, do you, On a whole series of issues, Democrats are better than Republicans. Is he being too uh, mild right now, Barack Obama? Should he get a little tougher with her, as you have been just now over the past few minutes? Because some people say he's trying to take the high road, and he's not really going after her as, as hard, a, a, maybe, as she's going after him. Well, I think he represents uh, a new kind of politics, and he has a whole new generation of Americans that are involved in this. His whole effort is to tell people the truth and put country ahead of party. He appeals to independents, to Republicans. He's won more delegates and more popular vote than any other candidate in the race. And he sees that American people want someone to be positive. They want them to lay out where the direction is that the country should go and to convey to them that we can get there. I mean, when, for example, when uh, most politicians speak and the spotlight shines on them, they swell. But when Barack speaks and the shine, light shines on him, he reflects the light back on the people and empowers them because he knows that if he's going to defeat the special interest in Washington, he's going to need the people, not simply for their vote, but for the long term. That is a new kind of politics, and that's been the narrative of his campaign from the very beginning. Senator Bradley, thanks for coming in.
Thank you. Appreciate